What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? Anybody out there new watching for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you to the channel as well. And if you like the content that you're watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And I need everyone to do me a big favor. I need all you guys to hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button. It helps promote the video. It helps the channel grow. And YouTube sees that you like the video and it continues to promote the video out on YouTube. And I greatly appreciate you guys for doing that. Now, today we're going to take a look at a sneaker. I wanted it, but I was cool if I didn't get it. I was able to touch a few pairs, not in my size. But one day I was walking through the mall and I was picking up, I think, one of those dunks that released. Might have been the, the Sunrise, Sunset, whatever it's called. And I just mosey on down to this, to this store. And I happened to, uh, I was trying on one of those uh, Ken Griffey's, the blue one, the royal blue and lime green one. It was a size 14. I tried it on, I was like, dang, the Griffey's really do run small. So I couldn't, I couldn't fit it. And I was giving it back to the sales associate. When I looked up and it's like the skies of the heavens just open. Just like, oh, there it was. One of the shoes that I wanted in my size on display, and I got it for retail. But before we get into that, I had to do a little quick little mail call. Come from across that wall in there, UK. Got that Offspring box. This was a shoe that I got on release day, but due to shipping, I just got it in today. The shoe arrived in New York at the New York Customs, cleared Customs, and they got to Atlanta. I kid you not, I'm following the tracking on DHL on my app, and I think I posted that the other day on my IG. It got from New York to Atlanta in 25 minutes. I'm not sure what kind of plane they have, but that's real fast. But it sat in Atlanta, but well, that's the status I received. It was sitting in Atlanta for days. So I inquired about it and it said that the package was actually held up in Cincinnati. I had no tracking of it even leaving Atlanta. I'm wondering, did it even make it to Atlanta? Maybe it was just a clerical error on DHL's part. However, I just received the shoes on today from All Spring. I actually got these on release day off all spring i woke up like two that morning and i was able to cop got that retail game see this box here as you can see it is a jordan one look at the box tag yep my size i already did a video on these so see cover up my personal information see got this from offspring that's the receipt white tissue paper and yes we have the fusion reds finally got them in my size retail game shout out to offspring uk for their retail cop yeah but the shipping delay is the reason why i just got them just wanted to show you guys that I did get my size, my personal pair, and the reason why you guys are here. I was walking in the mall and bam, shout out to City Gear. Yep, walked in, like I said earlier, the shoe was sitting on the shelf in my size, and it's a Jordan 1 box. We'll show you guys that box tag. You guys probably already know what it is. I'm gonna read the uh, box tag. It says Air Jordan 1, Retro High OG, color black, light smoke gray, white, size 14, price 170 US dollars. Look inside. 
side. See, you got that lot stamp right there. Oh, I still have the receipt in here for sitting here. You got that white tissue paper. You got the shadow one, two point Yeah, it's retail game. Retail game feels so good. Comment below because uh, these shoes actually sitting in some stores. They've been having a lot of restocks too. But uh, what's your feelings about the 2.0? Do you really like them? I mean, I I don't own the original shadows. I had them and sold them, but I do have these in my size probably gonna rock these since i sold my other ones but here we go guys the shadow one 2.0 let's go yes guys we have the air jordan one shadow gray 2.0 let's get into it we have light smoke gray on your overlays your heel your mud guards and around the ankle and the material is a nice little short grain of suede to be honest the suede i'm trying to see what jordan one that this suede kind of reminds me of oh it's a nice it's not even suede actually it's more like new buck because it's nice and smooth and silky and that's in that light smoke gray colorway and also on your swoosh you have that light smoke gray colorway you have your air jordan branding on here in black also black on your quarter panel on your color blocking around your ankle and on your toe box midsole pure white midsole it's two-tone with black at the bottom which leads to the outsole all black outsole you have your nike air branding or your nike branding right here looking at the heel give you guys a good look at that heel the back of the sneaker you got some let's call this the nike 2021 donk leather this what this leather feels like feels like a donk from this year look on the medium side of the sneaker you have more of that light smoke gray new buck going around the ankle your heel and your swoosh and on your overlays as well as your mud guard you have your black color blocking and the leather is just Now, it's smooth, but it's just plain that there's no tumbleness to it. And again, on the midsole, white midsole with the black at the very bottom, which makes this a two tone colorway midsole. Shoe tree in the box. I'm sorry, shoe tree comes with the uh, sneaker. It says size 13, 14, Jordan Jumpman logo on here nothing special about it and just a closer look at that leather i mean yeah put it like this if you guys have the original shadows don't worry about getting these if you can't get them for retail or if you just want them for the collection a hey, more power to you but the leather on here is not that great comes with the black laces also comes with a pair of light smoke gray laces which you see on top of the other sneaker you have a black nylon tongue you also have a black woven patch with the nike air branding in the light smoke gray colorway coming around you got more like a cotton on the reverse side of your tongue and you got the little message black sock liner black insert with your size and sticker and your light smoke green nike air branding on the inside size and tag size 14 production date november 11th of last year to december the 31st of last year so about a month and a couple weeks of production with these let me know what y'all think of these let me know what your honest opinion of the shadow 2.0s or i mean i'm definitely going to be rocking these i'm gonna treat them with some crap and put these feet to ground pretty soon so that'll wrap up the video guys and before i get out of here 
Black I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.